Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to configure the VMware Workstation auto start feature for your virtual machines so that way you could have your virtual machines start up uh, with the host computer um, but keep in mind that it's not going to start the VMware Workstation console it'll just start the VMs in the background then when you open the, the console they'll be running so this is for VMware Workstation 17 by the way I think they took it out in 16 and brought it back in 17 so there's a few things you need to do to get this working though. The first thing is you need to choose your VMs to see which ones you want to have run. And to do that, you gotta make sure you can see your library. So if you can't see your library, go to View, Customize, and then Library. And then you wanna right click My Computer, Configure Auto Start VMs, check the ones you want. So this will list all your VMs, but it's not gonna list anything. So you can see I have this Windows 11 Home. It's encrypted, so it's got a lock for a password. So it's not going to be on here, but I have this Windows 11 Insider, which is also encrypted, but I have it remember the password. So it does show up. And what I've noticed so far is even if you have it remember the password for an encrypted VM, it's still not going to want to start it automatically. But you could try it yourself and see if you have better luck than I did. Okay, so what you want to do, right click my computer once again, configure auto start VMs, and then choose the ones you want. You know, so we want Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Pro, and then you could change this, the order if you want. You know, if you want this one to be two and this one to be one, and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to do one for now, just for the sake of resources. One, and then you click OK. And if you see this message, when you click OK, Fail to update auto start configuration. Ensure that the VM, VM auto start XML file exists and you have permissions to write to this file. If you see this message, uh, you're going to have to go to this file and change the permissions. So I noticed there are two versions of this file on the VMware directory, one under host D and one under VMware workstation. So we have this one here and this one here. But this one has the capital letters that kind of match the error but what I did for both, because I wasn't sure, so you could try it for one before you try them for both. So I just right click the uh, file, properties, security, and then added the account that I'm logging in with. Even though administrators have full access to it and I'm a local admin, I still added my account and gave it full access to this file to get it to work. So I did it on both. So you could try just this one first and if it still doesn't work, then you could try it on the other one as well to get rid of that message, assuming you get that message. Okay, so that's that. I'll put these two paths in the description so you can easily navigate to them. And the next thing you need to do is uh, change one of the services. So if you just do a start search for services.msc or just services, I want to go down to the VMware auto start service. It should most likely set to manual by default. So if you just uh, right click it and stop it and you could double click it log on and I changed this to from the local system account to uh, the same account as well and that was actually suggested on the VMware website so I do that and then you could you know start it up again and that's that okay so now that I have my XML file permissions changed my service permissions changed and I have my virtual machine selected here. So that one, one more time, is Windows 10 Home. So now I'm going to pause the video, reboot the uh, host computer, and then I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so I rebooted the uh, host computer, opened up uh, VMware Workstation, and now you can see this VM has started by itself. But when you click on the console here, you might get a blank screen like this. And that's supposedly because it's uh, started up and doesn't know who to log in with. So what you could do is you could just pause it here or suspend and then resume. And then you'll get your login screen. And another thing you could do too is before you uh, reboot, go to the settings if you want to enable this. Go to the options then the auto login, 
and try auto logging with the uh, Windows account or whatever account for that computer and see if that'll help you get past that black screen. Otherwise, you just have to suspend and resume it to get your login screen. All right, so hopefully that will make sense. I'll put as much in the description as I can, then you can try and get this uh, working for your uh, VMware Workstation 17. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.